that you weren't uh, happy about the, the attempt to deceive call. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything that clarifies it more for you and how it's going to be called in this league going forward? <laughs> yes. Um, you know, they, uh, they said it wasn't an attempt to deceive. It was uh, attempted to confuse. That was the only language that the, the official used. Um, you know, it's uh, take the rules very seriously and understanding the rules, having cons understanding the consistency, the clarity of, of rules, not just the rules, but you know the spirit of the rules, and and doing everything that we can to to follow the rules. Uh, so yeah, I said I was offended after the game to be to have an unsportsmanlike conduct call uh, called on us, and you know the the language that they used. Um, you know, it's offensive because we we take it very seriously to know what to teach our players and, and tell our tell our team. Uh, no, there's still no there's no rule in the rule book that that you can go back to and say uh, that we broke. Uh, in fact, we we followed we asked for interpretation weeks ago and and, and followed it to the best of our our ability. And uh, it needs it needs specifics. You know, uh, what was it about it that, 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 that made it in a, uh, an illegal play versus what would make it a, an illegal, a legal play? I mean, everything else in the rule book is, is, uh, is specific, but this one seems to fall into a category that, you know, is left to judgment. Um, uh, whether they're, whether a team's trying to confuse the, the opponent, and <laughs> that's an awesome responsibility. Uh, for anybody, and, and why have it? Why not? Why not specifically write it? How far? How far can you be from the boundary? Your widest eligible receiver uh, during a substitution, after a substitution occurs. You know, is it in the bench area? Uh, has to be closer into the field to the numbers to the uh, <coughs> you know, outside of the bench area. You know, it can be closer to the sideline, but there, there really needs to be some specifics because. That's 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 uh, that interpretation. I get. We put a lot of work into making sure that we follow the rules to the not just the letter, but the, the spirit of them. Uh, your thoughts on trying to contain the Indiana offense that can be really productive at times? Yeah, um, you know, that that'll be the case this week, next week, and the week after uh, when you play the top top rated quarterbacks, top three rated quarterbacks in the. In the conference, and uh, be a be a great challenge. This team is dangerous, uh, and you know, they've played all the played all the good teams and played them all really good uh, with chances to win. And just every time they take the field, so uh, understand the task there. It's nice to see Jake Rudock now. So if you look, he's fourth. Uh, he's up. Jake Rudock's up there with the <clears throat> with the big guys. Um, so that's it's good to see. Um, that really felt like watching this game. Jake, Jake played his best game, you know, and even he looked like a, uh, an NFL type quarterback. You know, somebody that uh, would have a future playing in that league. Uh, the way he, the way he's now playing and operating, I think I see that that jump that he's made. When did you? You said that Jake has made a jump. When, when did you detect that? You said even at the, at the Minnesota game, you thought he was playing a, a terrific game in that game. Yeah, I just, I just, I mean, just, just watching it with my own eyes, you know, my own opinion. Um, and I don't know to compare it to or what analogy you could make, but I would compare it to like you know, you see some of the bird watchers that can tell a bird, tell what kind of bird it is and species, etc., by the the way it moves, and I think they call it the gist of the bird. Uh, just in my own eye, the gist of you know, an NFL quarterback or not. I'm seeing now after this game, we're seeing Jake that way. Did you see that potential there? And you know, when you brought him in for Milo? No, I saw it this week. I saw it. I, I see the way I see him now. You know the way I see him playing this game, the things he does. Now, so okay, that's a that's an NFL quarterback to me.